Today we are going to be focusing on planes a little bit, but not in the way you think we might be. Um, and you may be, hey, what do you, what do you mean by that? Well, I want to see how I can make plane with more than one cockpit, more than one cockpit. And uh, to do that um, should be fairly simple. Like this one flies super simple, but I'm thinking I want to do more like jumbo jet style, sort of, um, a cargo plane and see if we can put like three cockpits in one plane. So uh, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, for starters, we need to get rid of this plane and we need to get a big cockpit. Um, yeah, we're going to start with this. So what I'm thinking is definitely a fuel tank. So we need something maybe like that. Yeah, we'll do some fuel and then we'll do... Oh, this this one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a cargo. And... Another cargo. No, maybe that's too long. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so for starters, this is what I've got. Um, those control the pitch, that controls the yaw, and those are only for the roll. So let's see if this thing can fly, because I think that's what's really important right now. I sure hope it can. If it can't, then I don't know what to do. This thing is kind of slow moving, not gonna lie. Uh, we're only at 50 meters a second. So that another challenge is, um... For this is uh, I want to make it go super sonic and like I said I want like three different planes in one um, but for starters I just need to know that I can make a plane that actually flies so this is what I got it's got a cargo bay with absolutely um, zero cargo inside and zero room to store any cargo as you can see anyway we got to close that before it drags in the ground we're at 150 um still not able to pull up unfortunately we're about to run out of road here hey it does indeed fly it just doesn't have any takeoff power so that's interesting landing gear all works no why does this landing gear not work back there is it because it's on the cargo bay maybe it's because it's on the cargo bay maybe i'll move that up just a little bit but anyway, this uh, this plane flies perfectly fine. It's got lots of fuel. I can actually add more engines to it, which is good. Um, but I have made a cargo plane that flies decently well. Um, it doesn't turn very well, unless I do it this way. This is always nice I can do. But I just pull it up and keep doing the old yaw trick fighter pilot move here. Here we are, coming down in for the landing. We are going to power totally down. Um, I'd like to land on a piece of tarmac, if at all possible. Oh, I forgot to put down the landing gear. There she goes. That's better. Yes, yeah, so we're doing 170. Not too bad. We can actually go into our engine and uh, turn on the reverse. Yeah, the reverse engines. Now, if we power those on. There we are. Now that's how you do it. Um coming into full effect here. These are in full reverse. Uh, it's not doing too well, though. Uh, I guess there is brakes I can use. Check out that! That's a textbook landing right there, if I've ever seen one in Kerbal Space Program. Bill is happy to be alive. He is absolutely shocked right now. Okay, so we know we can actually make a proper plane that works. Um, but I am going to get rid of those, and I'm probably just going to... What I might do is I might just copy all of that, and 
Well, that doesn't really work very well now, does it? Okay, so after some modifying, I have come up with this lovely contraption of an aircraft here. Um, the nose is actually drooping down. I, I don't really like that, and I'm losing many, 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 many frames. Oh, that's because this whole thing's disconnected already. Why well, ain't that lovely? I only have three. Let me go back and fix that. Okay, now with that all done, I think we are in a little bit better shape here. Ah, oh, yes. We gotta turn off this. Yes, that is not helping our case. Oh, wow. Look at that lovely sight. Let's uh give her some gas and see what happens. Throttling up, and yeah, it's a slow moving start, but you know what? It's a lot of weight to move around. I just hope we have enough lift to get off the ground. Oh, we lost one engine. That's okay. We lost two engines. Uh, three, three, four engines actually. We're just down to two. Um, oh, we're down to no engines, and we lost a wing. Okay, okay. I think we got it. We're picking up speed. Nothing's blowing up yet. This is looking promising. 130 meters per second. Keep in mind, I want to get to 343 to make this a supersonic triple cockpit jet. Maybe six cockpits. We might we might up that number. We we will see. Um, my game is not handling three very well at the moment, so. We will definitely see. We'll see how many kerbals we can fit on board. We are at the end of our tarmac, and... Okay. Um, that's where the plane went. Okay, I think we are ready to try this once again. I have added more struts. I've moved the wings in a slight tad. And adjusted everything just a wee little bit. So let's see if this does anything for us. Here is the moment of truth. If we can get off the ground... Oh, they're gonna snap again. Oh? Oh? No way. So they haven't snapped, which is interesting. Uh, I'm really scared to touch anything on them, though. Like, I'm scared the slightest little thing will do it. Um, but part of this mission is uh, I want to land back on the runway, if at all possible. If I turn on Control Group 1, that should... Okay, it only opened one of them, unfortunately. Uh, we will open that one and that one as well. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. And then if we hit control group 2, yes. Now we have some power. power. And if we hit 343, then that is a supersonic jumbo jet that uh I'm going to turn that off now so I don't break those wings off because now the only thing left to do is land it. So uh, let's start going for our super, super long curve and I'll meet you guys when we're back lined up or when we're crashing horribly in the ocean. Oh no! I don't even know what happened. I just said I got destroyed. Well, that's dumb. Well, boys, you can't tell me it does not fly well. Here's another airport. Um, a little rough. I don't think this plane would actually be able to land there, unfortunately. We gotta level this thing out, because we are going down uh, really fast, actually. And I am very scared that that wing is gonna fly right off. We gotta get above the radar here again. Continue our turn. And just to prove that we are going supersonic on this flight. Here we go. Three... 
43, there we go. Supersonic cargo plane. That's totally carrying lots of cargo. It actually does have room for passengers, but if I put passengers in, my game will crash. So there's that. So what do you guys think? Bonus points if I actually land on the runway? Also, while um, I'm waiting for uh, the runway to come up here, which will be fairly soon, hopefully, uh, what other games would you guys like to see on the channel? I was thinking, you know, My Summer Car is an old game, but it would be fun to check out. I uh, really enjoyed videos on that. Um, I don't know what other games. There's Dome Keeper. I'll probably make a few more videos on... I don't know what else. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments, and... I will see you on the airstrip. Here we are, preparing for landing. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, I really hope this goes well. Oh... Yeah, come on. Level out a little bit. Oh, this is going decent. Oh, that's a little hot. Let's uh, air reverse thrusters on. I think that'll give me the edge I need to land this. Back wheels first. Look at that textbook landing once again. And we have missed the uh, center where we have to go to. Anyway, we have successfully touched down. All right, well, today we learned that it is, in fact, possible to build a triple um, cockpit plane in Kerbal Space Program 2 and have it go supersonic. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.